neck pain, uh, this thing is so common in the office. Number one thing to be addressing and looking at is your x-rays to understand structurally what's going on in your neck. Uh, a lot of the muscular problems and pain that you feel is because the structure is so off. So that's the first step for dealing with it. But here's some practical things you can be doing on your own and at home to help alleviate and reinforce the correction you may be getting. If you've never had an x-ray, get one uh, to really help identify this. But um, a couple of things we want to do. Number one, as far as uh, warming up and stretching those muscles, things that I recommend, uh, a wobble ball, and this can be used uh, an exercise ball as well if you have one, but you'll be sitting on this and taking your spine and specifically your neck through full range of motion. So Dr. Biagini will demonstrate that. Um, ours are blown up uh, greatly. You could be flatter if that's the case. But you'll just be going side to side, and the neck is getting involved as much as you can. Bring your ear to shoulder as much as you can. That's warming up all that spine, getting spinal fluid going. Your spine doesn't have its own blood supply, so it relies on spinal fluid to nourish it. When you sit all day long, you don't nourish it. So this is so essential. This tool I use with almost every spine problem um, because it just gets it moving. So the side to side one, you can do a front to back one as well, and you can also do circles. Um, you can go over to the wobble exercise video and show you in depth how to use this tool effectively. The other one that you may go over and check out is your cervical traction exercise, which is mounted above a door. Um, it can be used to extend the spine, to open up disc spaces, close them, open them, close them. This helps uh, uh, stop the degenerative process, nourish the disc. Super important, especially if you're having that occipital occipital headache pain neck pain right in that area so those are kind of the warm-up stretching exercises that we do um, two other uh, sort of reinforcing isometric uh, strengthening exercises. It depends on your spine, a proper x-ray. This is why you can't just regular therapy for things or just random um, advice. You got to know specifically what your x-rays look like to know which one of these to do. But the two exercises are this. Number one is the cervical flexion exercise. So you'll put hands on forehead. You're going to keep your ear over your shoulder in a good aligned posture. And then you will push your head against your hands. You'll notice he shakes a little bit. You're going to hold that for 10 seconds and you do 10 10 second holds and he's going to feel just the muscles that are so weak they're firing uh if you can go up go ahead and let's stand and turn that way just to see so they can see a side view you're trying to keep that ear over the shoulder while you do it you see his head comes forward a little bit now you can do this when you're laying down that helps remove that problem uh, as well and he's just forcing 10 second holds into uh, the hands there and then relaxing 10 of those you'll really feel that um kind of all through this anterior part of the neck. Now the other one, 85% of people need that. But based on x-rays, 15% of the population needs this one. So you can have a seat again. This is a cervical extension exercise. So hands will go behind the head. You're doing the same thing, just the other directions. So you're pushing back against the hands. Your head is going backwards into extension. Most of us don't need more extension. We're already in extension because of our slouching. Most of us need to be opened up. But there are a few, like my spine, that has that case. You gotta get an x-ray to know for sure. But if uh, you've been prescribed to do that, here's how you do the cervical extension exercise. Stand up, face that way as well, just to show them from a side view. So you're warming the spine up with the wobble ball and the traction. Then you're doing either the cervical flexion or the cervical extension exercise to help the neck pain. Final one, easiest one. I don't know why the whole world doesn't do this. Uh, dentists have taught us to use teeth, toothbrush to take care of our teeth. What do we do to take care of our spine? Because I could pull all the teeth out of your mouth. You would look funny, but you would live. You get one spine. If you wear it out, that's it. Every night, just like a toothbrush that you use hopefully before bed, you can use a spinal molding roll. And so these molds can be used and laid on to help mold your spine while you're sleeping. What's easier than that? If you don't have them, um, you can get uh, uh, information um, below this video on how to get these, but you're gonna lay on your back. The large one will go behind your neck if you lay all the way backwards. Uh, and so that's going to fit right uh, 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 behind the neck, not too high, not too low. The little one is going to go under the lower back. Pull that all the way through. Center it in the middle of the lower back around uh, the middle of the curve that you have. And fall asleep. I can't sleep on my back. You can at least for 20 minutes, up to several hours. If you've rolled to your side, then pull the rolls out. That is fixing your spine while you sleep because you sat all day and worked at your computer. You got to undo it at the end of the day, but you can't get any easier than working on your spine and fixing it while you sleep. So there is your neck pain and occipital pain and headache pain. If you're dealing with those issues, add that regimen to your daily basis and respond to all the damage that you're causing.